have 13 approved lines now in the United States, and so we're going to be seeing stem cells kind of profuse through every area of medicine. So I think they could be a very exciting adjuvant to our scar treatment. Five years ago, it really was the correct thing because at that point we were thinking about using the stem cells from um, the uterus. Uh, the umbilical cord, and that was going to create a black market for killing fetuses. So it was really appropriate at the time that we had some strict um, legislation against it. But now that we have lines and that we've learned how to use our own autologous skin cells to transfer to ourselves, um, I think that both the political and the scientific environment have moved forward, and, and it's extremely exciting. And that combined with the Human Genome Project, you know, we will probably advance more in the next 50 years than we have all of medicine. We know that fat is enriched with a lot of stem cells, but really we're not, uh, I think our autologous use of stem cells can be much better, and I think we'll see much more efficient deliveries, and I think we'll be able to hopefully grow a pancreas over here in the petri dish and pop it right in, and if you know your kidney goes bad tomorrow, uh, we'll grow a kidney for you, and I, so I, I do see it going in a much more efficient direction, and um, you know, even at my center, University of Miami, um, they can take uh, a piece of skin and imagine a piece of bacon, and we can put cardiac growth factors on it, and imagine the piece of bacon beating. Um, it's pretty exciting. So I think the science behind and what we're, we'll do with stem cells are, are going to be amazing. Um, the body will still wear out, um, and the mind, <laughs> but but I think the potential uh, for success of better quality of life and to decrease human suffering is so great here. We, we should not abandon it.